Alright, hello everybody, Jurassic Player here, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you DS Covered by Spinal Cord. Uh, yes, he's uh, one of the homebrew guys who has been known to make some different sort of UIs for the DS. Um, this one was originally, I think, called Decision 3, but it was later changed. And, uh, you can see here, um, it gets its, uh, inspiration from cover flowing. Nice sort of cover flow. And, um, uh, so, going to this, we have, it's pretty quick, um, launch game, set as favorite, settings, and credits. Um, launch gain obviously launches games. Um, set as favorite. I'll show you later. We have settings. Settings is easiest. And so on the bottom screen, after you click settings, you have uh, you can choose to load the homebrew externally, or you can use uh, the internal homebrew loader, uh, which I believe is probably a homebrew menu. Don't quote me on that one, because I don't actually know. And then of course you have soft reset, and then uh, you can you can tap, and it will uh, obviously change it. You have uh, three pages worth of settings, and so uh, this one's just the theme. Uh, there's a number of themes that are included. Um, if you want to check them out, I'll just tap them. Um, and then uh, you can see this one's a DS inspired one. This one's just a. Yeah. And yeah, so um, it comes with six themes, and uh, you have the loader files here, which are. For the most part, there you should just consider them as uh, redirecting NDS files, which um, for the AKAIO one, it will redirect to obviously the AKAIO's uh, last save dot any, and uh, it'll fix it up for you. So right after it does that, it'll go to AKAIO, which is supposed to be labeled um, AKMenu dot NDS, and it's supposed to be in the root of your uh, micro SD. And uh, that'll just work. Um, I'll show you that later. I'll show you it working. Um, the loader R4 wood one, that one only works with uh, Xenon Plus Plus's uh, old one, which uh, isn't exactly being updated at all, so you can't exactly use that. Um, of course, you can still use um, your own sort of thing if you um, know how to do the uh, Moonshell 2 wrap or that sort of thing you can try using that and uh, I'm pretty sure it will always work and um, yeah so on the bottom screen we have uh, the cover flow part and uh, it shows you the name and uh, you can use the stylus to uh, go through it it's not exactly Super, super amazing, but um, I, I've I was never too deeply into uh, the cover flow fad, but it, it works, and um, it, it works fairly well. Um, what else? What else? Um, I guess I'll go back to the top screen. Finish this up. Uh, so we have credits. Click on credits. Oh, it brings it to the bottom screen. Okay. Uh, many thanks to these people and the entire DS community who helps directly or indirectly. Yes. And, uh, okay, so set as favorite. That's one we can do. Um, set as favorite, we have Iwi the Kiwi. Ivy the Kiwi. Uh, once again. Um, and these are all, they all should be linking to Ivy the Kiwi because I was a bit lazy. I just decided, what the hell, I'll just clone the uh, one that I want and just dump it there. And so, to add it as a favorite, obviously you just use the up and down keys on the side here. 
and you can go through this menu and uh, just go over set as favorite click A and uh, it will set it as a favorite um, to get to your favorites you click L or R um, so if I click it you will see that I have one favorite funny thing about this you can put it as your favorite multiple multiple times so if you really wanted to you could see um, if you wanted to you could just click on it multiple multiple times and then you will see a whole list of the same game on your your wonderful uh, file thing um, now the thing I find really cool about this is the reflection right here now this is some pretty badass moving does that not look awesome I'm not exactly sure how long that must have taken to do but it is pretty cool too bad it isn't 3d but you can only go so far and so that is all of those oh wait that reminds me if you are on the favorite screen um, if you check the top screen instead of saying add to favorites obviously it says remove favorites so if you click on it of course it will remove it and uh, yeah that's all that there is to that um, I believe it saves your position after you uh, play a game so when you turn it on it will be back at the same uh, game you were you had selected beforehand and uh, that is a about it for this menu. Um, I'll show you that it works. And there you see it loading. And there you go. So it works. And uh, it's not too hard to uh, deal with. There is some things that could be done differently, but, um, oh well. Uh, so here we have the, uh, the, the, what is it? The Windows thing, the Windows program that accompanies it. It is DS Covery, and, um, this is what you should be using to get your covers and whatnot. Um, if I had my removable drive inserted, I would just select it, and uh, it would show me a list of all the .nds files, I believe. And then uh, you just uh, you can update your web list, um, download the covers, and then update your card. When you're updating your card, make sure you select all the checkboxes. There'll be checkboxes here, and you just select those checkboxes for the one for the games that you want to have the covers on, and then. Uh, just click update it will update your flash cart for you and um, it will pretty much it'll just put all those uh, those uh, bleh, uh, game covers on your flash cart in a nice little folder and then um, it will also add it to a nice little list of uh, stuffs list of their uh, database or the database I suppose um, if I can just open this and show you okay so in here it w there would usually be a uh, phase.dat and a uh, lastplay.dat and whatnot and um, what I want to show you is this alright so when you are using the AKIO, um, you'll notice that if you just set it up per usual, as it says, it will not work. It will bring you to the regular AK menu, um, and it won't load your game. Um, I'm going to show you how to fix that really quick, because um, it's not a hard fix, nothing hard at all. Um, all you need is a he hex editor. Um, I'm using HXD. It's a free one, so... Uh, kudos to free stuff and all you want to do is uh, open it and then control find uh, search for fat one right here fat one right and you just search for fat one and as you can see here there are two instances of fat one there is one right here fat one and then a second one right here fat one 
and all you need to do is go to that change that to a zero make sure you're not adding or subtracting just changing from one to zero and then you can save this and uh, put it as usual into where it's supposed to go and uh, it should work as you've just seen on my own DS and uh, just to prove that it's my ace card I'm probably not going to turn this on again so there you go it's my ace card I have quite a bit of trouble sometimes uh, dealing with it because of its uh, contacts but it's an ace card thing you get used to it and uh, yeah that is DS covered um, it's a pretty cool homebrew um, thanks to spinal cord code cord I believe it's cord who uh, made it and uh, I hope you'll watch whatever I have next yeah that's it uh, but yeah okay yeah yeah I, I've got nothing thinking thinking no yeah I've got nothing okay uh, and yeah so uh, thanks for watching see you all next time bye